Hello and welcome to HGTV Handmade. I am Maria Antoinette and today I have something super functional, not as easy as some of the other things that I've taught you guys, but so worth it. Today we are gonna be making DIY makeup bags. Perfect, right? So let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need for this awesome project. You're gonna need a ruler, something to cut on because we don't wanna destroy our furniture or our floors. You're gonna need scissors, you're gonna need a rotary cutter, zipper, pins, thread, double-sided tape, of course your beautiful fabric, and a sewing machine, which is optional. So our first step is going to be prepping and cutting our fabric to the right size. It's very important when finding your fabric that you get something that has enough resistance. So this is my outer fabric, and this is my lining. I love doing mixed patterns. This is what makes doing a DIY so fun because you can customize it for yourself. All right, so we're gonna just lay this out. I love using cutting boards that have the rulers already on it because it just makes life that much easier. I also like to use my zipper as a gauge. I know that this is gonna open and it's exactly nine inches. So I wanna be able to give myself some space to sew on both sides. So I'm gonna cut this at 10 inches. That gives me a half an inch to sew on both sides. And then we're gonna repeat that for the lining. Now that we have both of our outer fabric and our lining cut, it's time to go ahead and gauge how deep we want this to be, right? And this is the fun part. Once again, you have total freedom to pick whichever depth you want. I think I'm gonna go about seven inches, seven and a half, so that I can apply the zipper. With everything lined up properly. God, love that tool. It's starting to look like a makeup bag, right? We're gonna repeat that for the lining. With both pieces cut, we're gonna take the pattern sides and make sure that they're on the outside. As you can see here, we want this on the outside and we want our lining to be on the outside leaving both of the blank pieces matching each other. So when we close it and you unzip it, you get that exposure. We're gonna line those up. Doesn't have to be perfect because remember, we gave ourselves grace on both sides of the fabric as well as on the top for our zipper. Now, here's a little cheat. This is double-sided tape. Sometimes you'll notice in clothes that you'll see or feel the double-sided tape in there. I typically don't like using it in clothes, but I love using it when I'm making projects like this. So I'm going to actually secure my fabric down, and then that way it doesn't move when I go to sew it. And I don't have to deal with pins. If you like pins, definitely grab them and use them. So for this next step, we wanna make sure that we fold this over to assure a very clean and pretty finish when we put our zipper on. So we're just gonna go ahead and put a half an inch allowance. And we'll repeat that on the other end. All right, let's get this sewn down. Make sure that your pins are facing so you can pull them out as you're sewing them into the machine. And let's go. With both of our ends secured and neatly sewn over, how pretty is that, right? We're gonna go ahead and flip to the outer side of the bag. We're gonna take our zipper, and you can see the zipper starts here, and it gives us all this excess space. We're gonna make sure that we have it lined up so that the zipper is inside of this space so when we close this off, the zipper can then be seen. So let's get that pinned into place and then we're gonna stitch that side down. I know some of you are watching are probably like, zippers, oh no, that's so intimidating. This is the perfect project to learn how to apply a zipper because it's just two pieces and it's not like in a pair of pants or on a skirt, super easy and less stressful. When you go to sew your zipper onto your bag, you wanna make sure that you sew as close to the edge as possible. This way you won't get any snags when you go to unzip the bag. Now let's get the other side pinned and stitched down. Zipper is done and it's starting to look like a makeup bag. Now comes the last and final part making sure we have these sides stitched down. So we're gonna unzip it, flip it inside out. See how nothing's coming apart? Because we put that tape in there, right? Zip it back up. Make sure that the zipper 
is right in the middle when we fold it in half. Straighten that out on the inside and on the outside and take it back to the sewing machine to stitch up both sides. Now when I'm sewing this, I'm using a basic straight stitch. I'm doing a little backwards and forwards on both ends to make sure that the thread is secure and it isn't gonna unravel. And if you want, you can remove all of this excess material with a simple snip. Let's stitch the other side. Unzip and turn it right side out. Really making sure you poke those corners. I am totally obsessed with this. So unique, one of a kind, so cute on the outside, statement on the inside. I mean, what's not to love about it? Oh, and you made it yourself. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what are some combination of colors you would put together and what are some other ideas you have from this. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, if you make one of these on social media, use hashtag HGTV Handmade, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.